today we are going to start another series of lecture uh, about hormones uh, in these videos uh, i will explain about the general introduction their general classification uh, all three types of classification amine hormone peptide hormone and steroid hormone will be explained uh, their type their examples their mechanism of action their synthesis their secretion their transportation uh, all these things will be uh, discussed one by one in this is the first video so in this video i will uh, give you introduction of uh, uh, hormones and uh, some basic classification as well so this video is very important to understand the upcoming videos okay so let's start from the definition but uh, uh, this from this definition at the end then I will extract out some hallmarks of the hormone some very prominent characteristics of the hormone so uh, listen this definition very attentively so <clears throat> hormones are defined as chemical messenger that are secreted into blood to exert their action at distant organ or tissue in very low concentration so it means these hormones must be secreted into blood by some uh, endocrine gland obviously must be secreted into blood and they must produce their action at the distant organ or a tissue and they should exert their effect at a very low concentration so hormone after the secretion from the epithelial cells of endocrine gland we know that there are two types of gland endocrine gland and exocrine gland Endocrine glands are those glands which secrete their secretion directly into the blood and then those uh, secretions are basically hormones and then those hormones or secretion transported through blood to the distant organ or tissue they produce their effect at that particular distant organ or tissue at very low concentration so this is the definition of hormone exocrine gland they do not secrete their secretion into the blood. They secrete their secretion through proper ducts like uh, pancreas. Pancreas secrete the pancreatic juice into the intestine through pancreatic duct. Similarly, uh, sweat gland, sebum, they all are secreted through proper ducts. So they are not endocrine gland, they are exocrine gland. Endocrine gland must secrete their secretion into the blood and from the blood they will be transported to the distant organ or tissue and they will produce their effect and they must produce their effect at low concentration. This is the exact definition and these are some hallmark or characteristics of hormones. Now there are certain uh, substances which can be considered as hormone because they are very near to the hormone like there are some substances which release from one cells and they act on the nearby cells they do not enter into the blood for the distribution so th this type of substances are called as paracrine so they are near to the hormone so we can call them as a candidate hormone similarly there is some uh, other substances that are released from the cell and they act on same cell they will be having the receptor on the same cells and these substances are called as autocrine and uh, if a substance is secreted from a cell it travel into the blood and then act on the distant organ it will be called as endocrine substance so paracrine autocrine and endocrine and endocrine is called as endocrine the example of endocrine substances is uh, hormone as well okay now now let's talk about the types of uh, hormone hormones are of three major types amine hormone or amine hormone peptide hormone and steroid hormone amine hormone and peptide hormone they are amino acid based hormone it means that these hormones are made from amino acids while steroid hormone they are made uh, they are derivative of cholesterol amine hormone they are derivative of one single amino acid one single amino acid that is 
uh, for example tyrosine what we need to do like uh, this is a tyrosine amino acid and uh, if we uh, remove uh, one OH and we attach uh, uh, one uh, OH and we remove one carboxylic acid uh, the resultant uh, compound will be called as hormone so just by attaching or detaching some <clears throat> groups to the amino acid that amino acid can be converted into hormone okay so it, just one hormone is uh, one amino acid is involved in uh, amine hormone peptide hormone they are protein in nature it means lots of amino acid they will link together, they will uh, join together uh, by peptide bond and a long chain polymer of amino acid called as protein will be formed. So it means the uh, peptide hormones are formed by lots of amino acids. Steroid hormones, steroid hormones are cholesterol derivatives. By attaching some groups and by detach, uh, detaching some group from the cholesterol, uh, that cholesterol can be converted into steroid hormone. All these groups, all these types will be discussed individually one by one in the upcoming videos in very detailed manner. So no need to worry about this. Okay. So now let's talk about the synthesis. Amine hormone or amine hormone, they are synthesized in the cytosol. Peptide hormone that are protein in nature and you know that how proteins are formed. Obviously, through the process of translation that take place on the ribosome, amino acids will be joined. Then they will be uh, sent to the endoplasmic reticulum for post-translational modification. Then they will be sent to the Golgi uh, apparatus for further modification and packing. So it means they do not, uh, they not only, <coughs> they synthesize not only in the ribosome, but in the endoplasmic reticulum and Golgi apparatus as well. Because they also play, they, they all play very important role in the synthesis of hormone, uh, peptide hormone, because they are protein in nature. Again, I will repeat uh, the detail mechanism, the, the detail uh, modification will be discussed in the upcoming videos when I will talk about the peptide hormone. Now, let's talk about steroid hormone. Steroid hormone also synthesized in endoplasmic reticulum. We know that endoplasmic reticulum is of two types smooth endoplasmic reticulum and uh, rough endoplasmic reticulum. On the rough endoplasmic reticulum, ribosomes are present and they play their role in the uh, protein synthesis and post-translational modification. While smooth endoplasmic reticulum, it is a reservoir of calcium and it helps in the synthesis of steroid hormone. Similarly, mitochondria also play a very important role in the synthesis of steroid hormone. So they are synthesized in endoplasmic reticulum and uh, uh, mitochondria. Now, if we talk about the solubility, obviously steroid hormone, they are lipid soluble because they are derivatives of cholesterol. So obviously if they are derivative of cholesterol, they cannot be soluble, <coughs> get, uh, get solubilized in water. So they are lipid soluble. Peptide hormone are protein in nature. So obviously, obviously they will be water soluble and uh, they will be hydrophilic, they will be lipophilic and if you talk about the amine hormone there are two types. Some amine hormones uh, are water soluble like epinephrine and some amine hormones are lipid soluble like thyroxine or uh, uh, thyroid gland hormones. Okay, So they can be of uh, both types. They can be water soluble and they can be lipid soluble. Yeah, very important point, very important point. Well, <clears throat> both amine hormone and peptide hormone, they are made in advance. They are made in advance while the steroid hormones are made on the receiving of stimulus. What do I mean to say? Like both amine and uh, peptide hormone, they will be synthesized in the advance and they will be present in the cells like insulin if we talk about the insulin insulin is a peptide hormone it will be synthesized in advance and it will be present in the form of vesicles in the cytoplasm when the stimulus will come the insulin will just uh, those insulin vesicles they will be released into the blood by the process of exocytosis so it insulin was already present it was just released into the blood upon the uh, when the stimulus arrives but in case of steroid hormone, when the stimulus come, 
द सिंथेसिस ऑफ हार्मोन विल बी विल बी स्टार्टेड इन दिस केस दे वर ऑलरेडी सिंथेसाइज दे वर मेड इन एडवांस दे वर प्रेजेंट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ वेजिकल वेन द स्टिमुलस कम दीज हारमोन विल आर रिलीज इन टू द ब्लड बाई एक्सोसाइटोसिस बस इन केस बट इन केस ऑफ स्टेराइड हारमोन वेन द स्टिमुलस कम द सिंथेसिस ऑफ दीज हारमोन विल स्टार्ट एंड एट द एंड दीज हारमोन विल बी रिलीज बाई द प्रोसेस ऑफ डिफ्यूजन दे डोंट नीड वेजिकल टू बी पैक्ड बिकॉज दे आर लिपिड सेलोबल दे कैन ईजिली डिफ्यूज आउट ऑफ द सेल बट अमीन हारमोन एंड पेप्टाइड हारमोन दे आर वाटर सेलोबल दे आर लिपोफोबिक दे कैन नॉट क्रॉस द सेल मेम्रेन बाई सिंपल डिफ्यूजन सो दे विल बी पैक्ड इन वेजिकल एंड अपॉन द स्टिमुलस वेन द स्टिमुलस विल कम दीज वेजिकल विल बी ट्रांसपोर्टेड by the process of exocytosis and the content will be released into the blood they cannot be released by the process of diffusion okay now if we talk about the receptor how uh, when they will reach all the, these hormones for example they have reached at the distant distant organ now how they will produce their effect we know that both of these hormones are water soluble so when they will reach at the distant organ they will not be able to penetrate in, inside the cell so they must have their receptor at the outer surface of the cell membrane so peptide hormone will be having its receptor at the outer surface of cell membrane it will go it will attach on the receptor intracellular signaling will be start will be started and the response will be produced but in case of steroid hormone they are lipo uh, uh, lipophilic so they can easily diffuse into the target cell or tissue and their receptor uh, will be present inside the cell i their receptor might be intracytoplasmic or intra nuclear they will go and they will attach on those receptor and a response will be produced how response will be produced what is intracellular signaling all these things will be discussed in the upcoming videos no need to worry about it and if i talk about the uh, amine or amine hormone i have explained that they can be of both type lipophilic or hydrophilic so if they are a hydrophilic they will be having their receptor uh, present on the outer surface if they are lipophilic they will be having their receptor inside the cell if we talk about some examples uh, epinephrine and thyroxine are example of amine hormone insulin glucagon anti diuretic hormone they are example of uh, uh, peptide hormone estrogen androgen testosterone and cortisol they are example of steroid hormone i hope you like my video please don't forget to like comment and share subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you may get notification for the future videos thank you so much take care